All right, so if you were watching my last video, you'd know that we got the save and load feature. And there you go, you see it loaded in. In this video, I wanna focus on getting a crafting system. So how we're gonna start this off is you're gonna to go to the HUD. I'm just gonna enable the background image and I'm just gonna move it slightly to the left. Okay, and then I'm gonna create a image Call this crafting background. I'm going to set its color equal to the color of the background. And I'm just going to drag it to the right. Okay. So this is going to be the background to the crafting. Um, now I'm going to create a UI and a button. I'm going to set this button's width to 250 or let's let's do 175 as well. And yeah, 175. And move it to the top left. I'm going to duplicate it and so forth. So I'm going to have three buttons each that can craft an item. Okay, so you're in the scenario where you have items in your inventory and what do you need to know in order to craft an item? You need to know how much of an item there is, you need to remove the item, and then you need to give the player the new item that he just crafted. So the way we're gonna do this is by going to Visual Studio. Inside of Visual Studio, you're gonna wanna open up the inventory script and we're gonna add two methods. The first method is gonna be a public int, and the reason it's an int over a void is because we're returning a value. And we're gonna call it get item amount. And then it's gonna take an input, which is an integer, and it's gonna be an ID. All right, so inside of here, we're gonna do int num is equal to zero. This is gonna be the current value of how many there is in the inventory. And then we're gonna run through each slot and detect if any IDs exist that are equivalent to this ID. So we're gonna go for each slot i in slots, and then brackets. We're gonna go if i dot slots item And then we're gonna do item z is equal to i dot slots item. And then we're gonna check now if the IDs match. So if z dot item ID is equal to ID, then we're gonna do num plus equals z dot item amount or amount in stack. And then finally, we're gonna return num. So what we're doing here is we're starting off with a number which is zero, and we're running through each slot, checking if there's an item in the slot, and if there is, we're comparing the IDs, and if the IDs match, we're adding whatever amount is in that stack to the num. Okay, and now we're gonna create another method, so public void. And we're gonna call this remove item amount. And it's gonna take an integer, which is gonna be the ID of the item we want to remove. And then another int, which is the amount to remove. And again, we're gonna run through each slot. So for each slot I in slots, uh, initially we wanna check if the amount to remove is less than zero or less than or equal to, then we're just gonna break out of this. So we're just gonna return. Okay, and now we wanna do if I dot slots item. So we're checking if there's an item. Then we're gonna do item Z is equal to slots item or I dot slots item. And now we're gonna do the same thing we did up here and compare the IDs. So we're gonna do if z dot item ID is equal to ID.
Okay, so now that we know the IDs match, we're going to get the amount that we can actually remove from the stack. So we're going to do int amount that, that can be removed and set that equal to z dot amount in stack. Okay, now we need to go through some conditionals. So if amount that can be removed is less than or equal to amount to remove, then we're gonna destroy the object inside the slot. So destroy z dot game object. We're gonna do amount to remove minus equals amount that can be removed. Okay, and then we're gonna run an else conditional. And inside of here, we're gonna go z dot amount and stack minus equals amount to remove. And then we're gonna set amount to remove equal to zero. So what this is doing is it's running through each slot, checking if we already removed the amount that we want to remove. And if we do, then we're returning. And then if not, we're going to the slots item that is inside the slot. We're comparing the IDs and if they match, we want to remove something from it. So we're gonna get the amount that can be removed. And then if that amount is less than the amount to remove, then we're just gonna destroy that object because now that object is empty. And then if the amount that can be removed is greater than the amount to remove, then we can just subtract it from the amount that's in the stack. So now that we have these two functions, we're gonna go back into Unity. So inside of the button that we created, we're gonna add a component and we're gonna call it craftable item. Or let's actually call it crafting slot. And then we'll add that. And once it's created, just double click it and we're inside Visual Studio again. Uh, you can get rid of void update and void start. So we're just gonna start off by creating a class. And we're gonna call it required items or required item. Um, and inside of here, we're gonna make two public ints, the item ID and the amount needed. Also make this a system dot serializable. And then up here, we're gonna create a public array of required items. So required item, make it an array, and then we'll call it items needed. We're also gonna make a reference to the player's inventory. So inventory inv, because this is where we're gonna be adding the item that's crafted. And then finally, we're gonna do a public game object, the results item, where we can call it crafted item. And finally, we just need to make one method that actually crafts the item. So you're gonna go public void craft item. Make sure this is inside of mono behavior and not down here. And we're gonna go for each required item in items needed. So we're just gonna loop through all the items needed. Uh, give this a variable, so i. Okay, so we're gonna check if inventory.getItemAmount, we're gonna pass in an ID, uh, which would be the items needed item ID so i dot item id if it's less than the i dot amount needed then we're just going to return that the player doesn't have what he needs to craft this item now if he does have then it won't return so then we'll just run through again for each required item i and items needed We're just gonna do inv dot remove item amount. We're gonna pass in the ID, which is i dot item ID and i dot amount needed. Okay, 
So what this right here did was it ran through the inventory, removed every single item needed for crafting, and now we need to give the player the new item. We're gonna go inf.addItem, and we're gonna create a copy, or we're gonna create a game object of that item, so we're gonna instantiate the crafted item. And since it's in the game object, it works as a parameter. We're gonna give it a position, which I'm just gonna do vector3.0. And then we need to give it a rotation. I'll just do quaternion.identity. And since the add item parameter is an item rather than a game object, we're gonna get the component item off the one we just instantiated. And now that should work. So that's actually all we need. Now we just need to go inside of Unity and for each of our buttons, give them the script. So we're gonna add the component, crafting slot, and just make sure it's in all three. So all three of these we know has the script. So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna go to the first button and we're gonna give it items needed. So this is where you can just do as many items as you want. But for this, I'm just gonna be using one item and that's gonna be of ID zero. And then you're gonna need 25. And then once you give 25 of ID zero, so 25 of these, then we're gonna give back item one. And you can just drag that prefab. Okay, what I wanna do as well is I wanna do a public int. And we're gonna call it uh, crafted item amount. Okay, and now that we have the crafted item amount, we want to change this up a little bit. Grab everything from instantiate and we're gonna store it in an item. Item i is equal to the instantiate crafted item, blah, blah. And we're also gonna do i dot amount and stack is equal to crafted item amount. Okay, and then now we're gonna add i. Oh, okay. So the reason we're getting an error here is because it's the same name as the item, so it changes to z. And then z dot amount and stack, and then add z. So now if we go back into Unity, what we did was we added this right here. So if we set the results to 25, then you get 25 of item one. Okay, and now since we just set all these values, we're gonna do the reference to the inventory, which is gonna be just drag the player over. One last thing you need to do is on click, you want to drag the crafting slots into there and go to crafting slots and craft item. So this will actually call the function. If we go collect some item zero, we have 750. If I press the button, it removes 25 and then adds 25 of the other item. So that works. Also, one more thing, you want to go to the follow mouse image and make sure that it is not a raycast target. An issue I was having was it was pressing on the button, but it wasn't working because it was hitting the, the follow mouse image.